please click the subscribe button and the notification icon. It will help us a lot. I don't know. Uh, it's just what's important for me to communicate. Uh, I think that it could be summed up in that I know that I'm never going to be a great artist like the artists I admire. I'm never going to be Chuck Jones. I'm never going to be um, like the thousands of artists that are working today at Pixar and Disney. I'm never going to be that good no matter how much I try. But what I can do is put my voice in my work. And that's how I can stand out. Uh, I can just, like, like you said, put myself in my work as much as I can. And hopefully that will be enough to distinguish it from everybody else. As I'm, I'm never going to be a great painter. I'll keep trying. I'll keep trying my damnedest, but uh, I'm never going to be, I'm never going to be Steven Silver with character design. I just have to accept that. I'm never going to be Aaron Blaze and those, I've taken classes from both of them and I'm like, this is not happening for me. I am never going to be that good. But, um, you know, instead of getting depressed about that, you just find another way to um, come up with a reason for doing what you're doing. To, I'm not doing this to be the best. I'm doing this because I want to express something. And what I want to express is like uh, 20 years of being quiet and it's all coming out now that I don't care what people think of me anymore. And, uh, and also just, day-to-day -day life, I think that media and entertainment in general, in general these days, uh, for adult consumption anyway, has become so dour and so depressing. Uh, even the comedies uh, are so, they have to start from this really gritty, depressing place. And I hate that. And that isn't to say that we shouldn't talk about unhappy emotions, but there's humor in everything and humor helps us deal with the bad stuff. And, you know, reality is full of grit and, and dourness anyway, so why would you want to create media that lingers on that? So when I, when I draw, I'll talk about frustration and anxiety, but hopefully in a, in a funny way, because um, you could just, if you take a step back and just see that there's really nothing to be frustrated about, it doesn't matter, so let's just make a joke about it and um, just and just laugh, have a laugh. And that's what I'm, I'm hoping someday, if I ever get my own projects off the ground, it'll just be about characters enjoying life in whatever capacity they can. And yeah, because I feel like I need that, so... If I need that, then maybe other people in the audience need that as well. Yeah, definitely I understand what you say. Like the last comedy that I, that I watched as a movie that was full comedy was a movie called Rock Race. And then after that, like when I saw a comedy and there was like all this drama and depressing things, it's like, I came here to see a comedy. Why are you giving me drama? Like, I, I didn't yeah. came to see this. And there's oh. a trend of uh, comedians getting their own shows, and it started with Louis C.K., and I, I really like Louis C.K., but he started this trend of uh, shows that are so depressing. Like, the joke is how depressing it is. And I just, I can't get through it all the way. And I, I want comedies to be, to sort of embrace life again. It, and it's not to, to mean that it should be flippant or um, unserious. I want to be serious about happiness. That's, it's a real thing that it's okay to want and it's okay to be. And it just seems like unless you're being depressing, no one will take you seriously. And It'll be a challenge someday to try and make that happen, but I'd like to I'd like to give it a shot.